Ever wondered why sometimes hot water freezes faster than cold water? This seemingly counterintuitive phenomenon is known as the Mpemba effect, named after Erasto B. Mpemba, a Tanzanian student who observed it in the 60s. So, what's the science behind the Mpemba effect? The truth is, it's a bit of a mystery, and scientists have been scratching their heads over it for years. Several theories have been proposed. Some suggest that hot water evaporates faster, reducing the amount of water that needs to freeze. Others point to the role of ice crystal formation and the effect of dissolved gases in the water. For the adventurous among you, you could try conducting an experiment at home to observe this phenomenon. All you need are two identical containers, one with hot water and the other with cold water. Time how long it takes for the water in each container to freeze and see if you can spot the Mpemba effect in action. Of course, there are many factors that can influence the Mpemba effect. The initial temperature of the water, the material of the container, and the environment in which the experiment is conducted can all play a part. And while it might seem like a quirky science trick, the Mpemba effect has practical applications in the real world. Understanding how and why water freezes can be important in a variety of fields, from food preservation to climate science. So, as we conclude our discussion on the Mpemba effect, remember that this phenomenon is still not fully understood, and the conditions under which it occurs can vary. That's the beauty of science. There's always more to learn and discover. If you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating content. And we'd love to hear your thoughts on the Mpemba effect. Did you try the experiment at home? What were your results? Share your experiences in the comments below. Until next time, keep that curiosity alive.